Hi everyone. <laughs> I haven't made a YouTube video in a long time. And I feel nauseous right now. So I'm going to let her talk for a second. She's just lying down. Like, it's so sad. I want... Um... Hi guys. Oh no, I'm drooling. That means I'm gonna like throw up. Jamie, if you're gonna fucking throw up, don't do it. Oh, bitch. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh my god, I thought you were gonna choke on your vomit and die. <sighs> oh, I feel really sick. It's all the fucking bad food. I had like almost 10 donuts. If you vomit, like, I don't know what to say. <laughs> like, I don't have a cup you can vomit in. Oh, I have a, uh, I just have a trash can. I won't vomit, don't worry. Okay. I just feel, like, woozy and nauseous. <coughs> Me too. I wonder if this is what, um, Elio felt like when he threw up in the movie. So, we just saw... Call me by your name. Call me by my kingdom come. Thy will be done. Thy earth is in on heaven. Give us the bread, the daily bread. Amen. <laughs> That's not how it goes. Sorry. Um, <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> but. <laughs> what did you think of the movie, Jeffrey? I John? fucking rate it 10 to 10, and that's rare for me. Yeah, it was, I'd... like, basically porn in some of it, but it was incredible. I read it like a. Nine out of ten. Nine. Where's the fucking other point, bitch? I don't know. I just like I like the movie a lot, but what's that? But I want to know. I don't know if it should win the Oscar. Why? Have you seen the other ones that are like up against it? Yes. I haven't. That's the thing. I've only seen that one. You only seen the one? That the Call Me by Your Name. I haven't seen any of the other ones that are like. Ooh. Ooh, you, you're, you're a gross person. <laughs> you're a gross person. That could be the closest thing to the truth I've ever heard in my life. Anyway, yeah. Because it is true. Okay, do you want to, like, um... Yeah, Brianna, I'm, like, dead. Oh, my God. Here, I'll get you... Sorry, really nauseous. I'll get you Kleenex or something. Please. I'm nauseous right now. It's because I've been eating really bad food. I tell myself, oh, you're going to eat better tomorrow. You're going to start eating better and exercising tomorrow. And you know what? I never do it. I keep eating badly and then I feel sick. What else should we do today? We well, went to Swiss Chalet. We met up at Swiss Chalet, which is a Canadian chicken food. Chicken. <laughs> It's a chicken food restaurant. I had we love chicken, chicken and food. rice, and I had shrimp on the side. Oh, fuck. And then I had um, water, and then I had these little donuts for dessert, and it only came to, like, $25. It was good, yeah. Swiss Chalet is, like, fancy yumminess, but it's, like, cheap. I don't say it's fancy, though. I think it's fancy. I went to uh, a fancy restaurant. I'm not going to say the name, but it was $200. That's all together for like four break people. Me. Holy shit! Four people. So God. I mean, like, I'm too poor for that. I mean, yeah, I'm way too poor. I'm like poverty level. My parents are poor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when it gets dark, um, when you start thinking about life, <laughs> when it, the realization hits, <laughs> um, but. Yeah, it's like one in the morning, isn't it? I have, oh my god, I have a pimple at the back oh, of my head. Oh, cancer? Yeah. Okay, so I have like <laughs> class tomorrow. Um, For anyways. College. And yeah. are you going to that, brain? Oh, fuck no. I'm gonna get fucking high. I'm gonna smoke uh, <laughs> A big cigarettes. doobie. <laughs> <laughs> a doobie dob? A Dobby Dobson. Waste Dobby my Dobson. life away. Until I die. 
This is what death looks like. The human skull. Just look at that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> what was your favorite part in the movie? When they... I like uh, when he started fucking the <laughs> orange. Me too. The guy in the movie, like he fucked a peach. And oh yeah, peach. Sorry, it literally orange. didn't even last that was like sting. ten seconds. Yeah, he was like <laughs> putting it on his sting. penis, and he was like, oh yeah. Yeah, and it literally lasted ten seconds. Yeah, it was really sad. But he really liked it. But I think that cried. was a metaphor, though. Yeah, it was a metaphor. Like for fucking his... in the ass. It was a metaphor for his life, and then he cried afterwards because he felt guilty because it was like the 80s. Um, and know, so, like, just, being gay is hard. weird and taboo, I guess. Yeah, it was just Back hard for him. So, it's sad, but at the same time, we were like laughing at the fact that he was fucking a peach. So, he was 17, and then yeah, Oliver the was like. Thing. I feel like he was like 30. He was, he was way older than him. It was a beautiful story. But I just feel like it was too creepy in some cases because yeah. the age difference. I don't feel like that was like, yeah. Like I don't know his actual age, but in the movie, I don't think that they focused on like the creepy sense of it. Yeah. But in other like, if you were to know about that in real life, like that would definitely come off as cre a creepy situation. Creepy, <laughs> a creepy situation. Definitely. I've been drinking this Gatorade all damn day. Can I just say something? Alright, I'm gonna say it. So, she let me borrow these pants and this shirt, but like, can we just look at my butt in these pants? Like, can we just look at that? Like, that is amazing. Look at that. I'm just sitting here, like, ruining everyone's lives. How are you ruining other people's lives? I don't know. That's so sad. <laughs> How are you ruining other people's You're, lives? You're like showing your butt to the camera and I'm just here like... <laughs> <laughs> like thinking about life. <laughs> thinking about how much longer I have left on this planet before I become this. <laughs> oh, hopefully... A long time. A long time. How do you think you're gonna die? Good question. I think like... For me, I'm just gonna have, like, cancer or something. Like... You think you're gonna have cancer? Yeah, like, that's how a lot Same. of people die of cancer. Like, yeah. When you get old... Like, you'll probably get cancer. Like, it's just... Lots of people get cancer. Because there's so many different types of cancer. Like, yeah. And so many like, different... Like, I'm probably gonna get either skin cancer, because I don't wear a hat during the summer, <laughs> or I'm gonna get, like, I don't know, breast cancer. Or, like, uh, brain cancer. I don't want you to die. Bitch. How, are you, how do you think you're gonna die? Car crash? Run over by a horse. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. I... That would be so scary. The fucking hoof goes on my head. I... I worked with horses. They're very scary animals. Like, they look very friendly and cute and, like, oh, wise and beautiful. But, like, they're scary motherfuckers, and they'll do anything. And, like, they're very, like... They're big Like, what the fuck? Boys. They're big. And if you get a wild they one... trample you. It'll kick you in the head, and you'll die. Yeah. That's or why I always say... Fucked for life. Yeah. In the hospital. If you're going behind a horse's rump, pat it on the rump so that they know that they're, you're there. Yeah, be like, hey, I'm here. Like, don't struggle them. Don't be, like, screaming no, behind them. No, because then they'll kick. They'll kick you. The they shit. might. They might. Really just depends. Some horses literally don't give a shit. What's your problem? I want. Like, what do you think you have wrong with yourself? Unladylike. Disgusting. Very, very, very crude. Swears way too much.
a little bit awkward. A lot awkward. Mm -hmm. On the good side, pretty confident. Hopefully attractive, I think. I hope. I know I am. <laughs> I hope I am. Um, loves animals. Loves people. Mm, that's a lie. Loves my friends and my family. Loves my pets. What I about like, you? I don't like people. That's my biggest <laughs> concern. Really? That's your biggest I hate problem? everyone. Except for my friends. And people that are, like, nice to me. Yeah. But I'm Same. just a super judgmental person, and I try not to Yeah, be. I know what you mean. But I'm in, not about you, but, like, I know what you mean. It's, in, it's hard not to judge. It like, really is. Like, I'll be doing it in my head, and I'm like, wow, I'm such a bitch. But that's the thing. As long as you catch yourself and tell right. yourself that you are, like, you can't fucking... As long as... Because a lot of people, they judge, and they don't say that, oh, my God, you're a bitch. Like, they just accept it. Like, oh, yeah, I'm judging that person. At least if you accept the fact that you are a judgmental, or if you yeah. accept and say you're such a bitch, like that's mean, you know, that's at least you're catching yourself. Mm -hmm. And that shows who you truly are. Ugh. Which is a good person. God, I keep burping. You're a nasty whore. <laughs> <laughs> it's like one something in the morning. And so me and Brianna are in, like, a weird mood. But that's alright. I'm, like, I get so weird. At this time of night. I just get, like, existential. Same. I feel like I'm going into a black hole at I unknown feel like speed. we're just dying slowly. Which we are. We are. And one day we're gonna die. And everything will be black. Or... There will be heaven, but I probably That's what won't I was go there. saying in the movie theater. Like, Jamie, like, the reason why I want to believe in God is because I want to believe there's a heaven. Yeah. And I want to believe that there might be a hell. Yeah. I'm so scared of death. I just want to believe that there's something out there. Mm -hmm. So that's why I want to, that's why I believe in God. Yeah. You know? Because you want there to be and something. I want, I want someone to be there for me. And that's what and everybody says is that me. he's always there to love he's you and be there. He's always there. Jamie, he's always there whether you believe it or not. Oh, Brianna, that's like so sweet. He's always there. I love how I, I say this shit and then the next, the next moment I'm like talking about Satan's asshole. <laughs> Or something. And, like, being a Satanist. Yeah. Like, we went to youth group and we were joking about, like, being Satanists. We did. We were in, like, God's home. We were in <laughs> church, like, pretty safe. But we were, like, <laughs> Satans of our Lord. <laughs> literally. We were, like, a devil worshipping <laughs> night at church. <laughs> like, we were literally... <laughs> like, yeah. But we were literally, like, um... We were in, like, a circle and I was to Jamie, like... Oh, what if I just screamed out, Hail Satan? <laughs> what would they do? In the middle of the talk? <laughs> like, Hail Satan! And then I just run around. That's the cart. <laughs> that is the catty. That is my cat. He had to ruin the day. Ricky. Ricky. Ricky jumped over the camera. Hi, Ricky. <laughs> He's gay. So, um, are you a Christian? I don't know. Yeah, remember we were going to talk about religion? Shit, but, like, I don't know if I want to That's, like, personal, religion. though. That's, that's a personal subject matter. Well, I'll talk about my religion. I'm agnostic. Me which too. Which isn't a religion. I'm agnostic. Okay. Um, it's very, basically indecisive. Like, you're in between, like, atheism and, like, is there... Well, uh, is there religion? Like, is religion a thing? So, like, basically, I'm at the point where I'm more, I'm leaning more towards science, which is, like, science and atheism kind of go hand in hand, but I also, at the same time, am, like, very open-minded, and so 
I also do believe in like paranormal and spiritual Me things. Too. I believe in like the paranormal. Yeah, and I I'm would a say heavy believer in that kind of stuff. Yeah, and like I think I've had an experience with that. I've had many experiences. Yeah. With like spirits. Yeah, and like I would definitely say I'm a spiritual person. I think. Which is different than being, I think it's different than being a religious person. But, um, also at the same time I'm very open-minded to, like, say if there was proof and it was presented to me and, like, I was able to, like, I don't know, fucking have some solid proof for myself mm -hmm. that there was, like, a God or a Jesus or, like, any of those, a Buddha, fucking, like, Satan, anything then I would, <laughs> then I would probably end up becoming that religion, like, I would, and I would, like, follow it hardcore, but. I know nothing about religion, so I think I'm agnostic. Yeah, and, like, that's the thing, I mean, I don't put enough, like, research into it. I I'm not educated enough to know, I guess, so I just kind of live my life by living and believing in myself and believing in, like, the, the universe and people that's how, that's how it is and animals and guinea pigs little pet shops elephants yeah fucking guy from breaking bad <laughs> gatorade fans yeah. feet <laughs> like i don't know uh, but yeah like that's my view and honestly like oh, i'm sweating uh a lot of people think it's a very hard thing to talk about and i understand because it is a very personal thing but I'm pretty open about talking about it. But a lot of people can judge, and I think that that's why it's a very personal thing, is, like, a lot of people will judge if you, like, are religious or aren't religious or are a certain religion that they are not. Like, people will judge, and that's why it becomes, like, a very personal thing, I think. Or it's probably just because, like, it's kind of private, I guess. Yeah. It's, like, one of those things that is like a relationship you have with with something that is very private I guess and I respect that I I respect everyone I do I'm a respectful person even people who believe in the anime gods <laughs> what the fuck and my little pony because I'm well <laughs> are you a brony I kind of like Friendship is Magic. <laughs> really? Like, I watched the first season. That's pure. That is the purest thing ever. Yeah. I watched the first Coming season. Coming from someone like you. Yeah. That is so pure. I watched My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Not the whole first season, I don't think, but the most of the episodes. And I really liked it. Like, I can see why the bronies like it. Anyway, this video is really long, so I'm probably going to end it now. Yeah, I'm just like staring into space like thinking about my life yeah i do that a lot anyway bye thanks for watching bye bye